I just drove for the first time in what feels like years. Um, yes, I, so my local chemist was having a customer appreciation day today and I was actually in there yesterday um, I wanted to pick up a new nail varnish and she was like, oh, do you really need this today? We're having a customer appreciation tomorrow. You'll get 20% off everything. And I was like, oh, really? So I put a few things by then and there because she did say some of the more popular things would of course like sell out very early. And one of the things that I put by yesterday was actually the last of what they had. It is this gorgeous tea set. Oh my God. I'm a sucker for, for China. I have, I couldn't tell you. Well, with the weddings, for those of you who didn't know, I used to be a wedding planner up until about, what am I, I'm about 18 months retired now. I retired in September, 2017, so whatever that is. Um, and because of that, I used to collect fine china. Um, for the weddings and such and I have literally hundreds of teacups teapot well not hundreds of teapots but I have a lot I have a couple of sets that are very dear to me that would have I would have inherited from my grandmother and from aunts and such um, but I apart from two sets I rarely take the rest out they're kind of all boxed up and they w used to be rentals but don't use them anymore keeping them just in case my brother wants them for his big day, which is in like less than two years. So excited. But this is more, this is not like a proper TT set. This is more like a having tea any day of the week set, but it is so gorgeous. I'm trying, I'm trying to get the box on. She, wrapped it up really good so it wouldn't be broke get broken overnight oh god it's so cute and it was really inexpensive i think the full price this is who it's by tara pottery the full price was 29 euro so even at that i was going to buy it um oh what really a sort of drew me to it was the sugar bowl because james takes real sugar and I take like a, a sugar substitute in my tea, like a stevia or, you know, one of those type things. And I wanted a second sugar bowl that was very different from his um, so that it would, you know, I wanted a second sugar bowl that was very different from his so there'd be no confusion. And I searched and searched and searched and searched and couldn't find anything that both I liked and that sort of matched our kitchen because our sugar bowls are more or less out all of the time. And what I did find and what I have been using is actually an old candle <laughs> candle tin box thing. Um, basically, there was a candle in it, I loved it, burnt the candle down, cleaned it out really well and I have been using that. But it's not ideal because you kind of have to pop the lid off each time, it's annoying. But basically, this is the little sugar bowl, which is so cute. This is the wrapper. And it comes with a milk jug as well. And four of these cups, which I love. And I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but it's kind of got like a, a rose gold accent. And in case you hadn't noticed, rose gold is the accent in my kitchen. So I'm just loving. There's the teapot as well. I just love it. Now, the teapot is a little bit on the small side, I feel. But still, I would have liked a teapot that was just a touch bigger because in my mind, that's like two cups of tea, really. But isn't it so gorgeous? Oh, I love it. I am going to have to get a really nice tray to go with it. Um, oh my God, it's so gorgeous. Um, to go with it, I think, because all of my trays are kind of like 
cutesy pattern rate where I feel this needs to be like a cream tray or slightly off-white with maybe some gold. I have, or rose gold. I have something in mind and I'm fingers crossed that TK Maxx might have it or HomeSense might have like something, they generally have really nice things. Um, and that, this is my quandary. So obviously I drove and everything was fine. Now I drove literally not even half a kilometer down the road um, to the village. So a little bit different, but there was no problems and there's actually loads of ramps between my house and where I was. So that's a good indication of how I'm gonna be. I am thinking of having a really quick bite to eat and going to TK Maxx to have a look. Just in case, in case they have something, which could be completely crazy because it is a Friday. It is now 20 to two in the afternoon I'm supposed to be meeting James around five o'clock um, for him to help with the grocery bags and he's coming home from work. So yeah, I'm gonna, I definitely need to eat something first, but I'm so excited. Oh, I also bought loads of makeup. Well, not loads. Let me show you what, what else I bought. Okay, so I actually went down there to get some nail varnishes because what I've noticed is a lot of the nail varnishes that I own for Christmas, so my reds and kind of like festive colors are old and they're chipping really, really quickly. And so I wanted something new and nice and I wanted to see if there was any good top coats that could maybe help me out. Now I absolutely love the makeup brand Catrice. And our, my local chemist, Stacks, we'll give him a shout out. My local chemist, Stacks Pharmacy, always have a really good selection um, of Catrice stuff and they always have it at really good prices. So I actually went in for some reds and I wanted like a real kind of like festive kind of, um, is that focus? red red similar to what i'm wearing right now so i got this one which is the bloody mary to go i don't think oh maybe that's slightly better really like that one it's actually very very similar to what i'm wearing right now and i also wanted something that was a little bit more sort of like evening appropriate this one is called cut on the red carpet so i love those so you can see the you know the, the difference in the shades of the two. I fell in love with, this is almost, it's kind of like a neon orange, but it's not, I love it. It's called Make Your Polish a Priority. And even though it's orange, I think it's really festive as well. Really like that. And so they had loads of different top coats. Um, and this one was, <laughs> their most expensive option, which wasn't expensive before the discount that I got today because of the customer appreciation. I think it was $3.95 or something like that. It was less than four euros, so a bargain. And it says it boosts shine for up to 10 days and it's a gel top coat. So I'm, I probably should have read that it does go on top of these. I'm sure it does because there's no gel light, <laughs> no, gel light needed with this. So I'm sure you can basically use it with absolutely any um, nail varnish. It doesn't even have to be a Catrice one. Um, so there are the four nail products that I bought. I also bought this velvet matte uh, lip cream and it's called Into the Rosewoods. I have a few of their lip creams and they're always so very nice. Now I do have a color on Oh my god, that smells amazing. That's and their products always smell really good too. Um I just really liked this color. Um I have a lot of reds and as you probably noticed, I wear a lot of reds. But I do like these kind of more mulberry tones as well, which I thought would be nice especially on the other side of Christmas kind of coming into the new year and um January and such. I thought this would be really really nice. And then so I found this palette and it just, I don't even know, you're kind of getting loads of, it, it, it's a new one, it's a new palette. I have a lot of their palettes. I actually have a lot of 
eyeshadow palettes. And one of the videos that I'm going to do in the coming week is I'm kind of going to do a holiday makeup look um, on my face. So I am not a professional makeup artist. I enjoy makeup. I wouldn't say I have a lot of makeup at all. I like compared to some people, I have practically none. But I have a lot of I, well, for me, I have a lot of eyeshadow, eyeshadow palettes, most of which I never use. But I just loved these. They're all kind of pinks and purples, and again, some have like a glitter in them. It is called the Call It What You Want palette, um, and it says the Blazing Bronze Collection. I just really like it. So yeah, this full price was less than six euro, which like is amazing for an eyeshadow palette. Like how they can do that. I will say, I love these eyeshadow palettes. I love Catrice and I wear a lot of their eyeshadow palettes. I probably have easily four or five, no, five or six um, of these style eyeshadow palettes from Catrice. The pigmentation is good on the eyeshadow I would not say it's amazing I do have like more expensive palettes from say like the likes of Urban Decay and such and the pigmentation on those palettes is unreal like it is amazing these are good so well worth their price for sure but like they're sort of not a you know a really really strong color but still really pretty so I love these so that's my little makeup haul, but I'm so excited about my tea set. Hello, we're back from the shopping. This is turning into a bit of a haul video, so I thought I would do a grocery haul as well. Um, because I am just about to scan all our shopping. I think last week I mentioned that I use this, um, or I participate in, where is it? The shop and scan, it's like a survey thing where you scan all your shopping on a super dandy little scanner they send you when you get an account with them and you get vouchers. Um, hold on, what has she got? What have you got? Tata. Yeah. <laughs> Stealing one of my receipts. Um, basically, Shop and Scan is a survey s company and you scan all the items that you purchase and you upload to them weekly and you get points or that you can then turn into vouchers. That's basically <laughs> Jess is doing very naughty things on the other side of me with the shopping bags. So, I thought before I scan everything that I would do a quick grocery haul for you, talk you through what we've got and the types of meals and stuff that we make out of it. I enjoy watching these on YouTube and this is not an especially important week, it's just a standard week for us. There are a couple of things in this shop that will be for Christmas, I'll point those out when we get to it. But I'll start over here. I just realized when I put everything on the counter, some people have really big kitchens, which you all know I do not, so things are stacked. So here we have got all our meat for the upcoming um, week. So we have ribs, which I love to do in the slow cooker, and I serve those with corn and sweet potatoes, which are over there, our sweet potato fries, which are over there. We are having steak for dinner tomorrow night. We'll be having some baked potatoes and veg with that. Uh, the sandwich ham is for James's lunch. We have a fry on Saturday mornings. So we've got our sausages and our rashers. Ooh, the little girl wants to come in. He coming in. It's windy out there. Um, so we've got sausage and rashers. I always do cherry tomatoes and mini cucumbers on the side when we have a fry. We generally have some toast, juice. We don't really do eggs with fries. James is not really into eggs. We'll be having burgers and chips during the week. Tonight we are having uh, tacos. One of our favorite recipes right now is the, it's called beef and broccoli. It's beef and broccoli with sesame seed oil. It's just divine. 
and the chicken thighs are for honey and mustard chicken thighs that we're going to be having um, on Sunday. We've got some salad there at the back that does our tacos, our burgers, and then salads during the week. We snack a lot on grapes. Um, we try to limit our juices, so I only get um, an orange juice and a tropical juice that James loves. I don't really drink this. Um, I needed some lacto-free milk. I am on a reduced dairy <laughs> um, diet at the moment as we were trying to get pregnant. Um, the broccoli will go with the diced beef. Spring onions, basically I use these in everything. They come up in a lot of the recipes I use, as well as fresh parsley. Um, I'm just in love with this stuff. It is non-alcoholic mold punch. You could make it alcoholic by adding some wine to it, but as I'm not really drinking at the moment, this stuff is divine. This is one of the purchases, oh my God, for Christmas Eve. So Christmas Eve morning, we generally have a kind of like Prosecco brunch with eggs benedict and such. And so I wanted this one and they only had two bottles left and I was afraid they wouldn't get it back in, so I bought it. This is one of James's, James's treat lunch items for during the week, he loves these. I was out of garlic, so normally what I do is every so often I will buy four things of garlic, I will um, unwrap them from their skins and freeze the cloves whole in the freezer and then I just take them out as I need them. This stuff is divine. Will it focus? Oh my god, this stuff is divine. Buy it if you can. We put it on everything and anything. Lemon curd. Lemon is one of my most favorite tastes. I love this stuff, so I'm gonna find some nice dessert things to do with this. Um, we are out of the Irish country tomato relish. It's divine in burgers and in sandwiches. This is the hollandaise sauce for Christmas Eve for our eggs benedict. I always like to have tuna in the pantry. Great for sandwiches and or feeding the cats if I run out. Oh yes, baked beans. We always have these with our fry as well. Um, I got some fajita seasoning for our tacos tonight. The cheese is for James's lunches and burgers during the week. I am, I'm actually wheat intolerant, so I try to limit the amount of gluten or bread or wheat that I have. So that's why I have the honey spelt. Garlic baguette, always handy to have. This is a divine multi-seed cob. These crackers and this hummus, oh my God. Now, the crackers, of course, are not wheat free, but I do keep wheat in my system. It's just easier for me. James loves, loves these. He generally has them as his dessert most evenings. Um, we've never had these before. Chicken and mushroom crowns, they're called, but they look nice, and I pick them up for our lunch tomorrow. Um, sweet potato fries for our, um, ribs night and then these are just some chips to have in the freezer which are always handy and we are having burgers and chips later in the week so moving over here to like the non fun items we have touch paper kitchen rolls some hand soap some food bags kitty litter for our kitties kitty food dog food then we have some fun things. So we've got lentil crisps for lunches. These, we always like to share a nice packet of crisps on a Friday night. So we got these. We thought this would be such a cute thing to do in Vlogmas. The Christmas, these are like DIY Christmas jumper um, cookie things. Very excited about this. This chocolate is divine. I'm gonna say it is better then Aero Mint. Yes, I put it out there. These, oh my God, for with hot chocolates. Oh, there we go, caramel waffles, yum. These are also divine as well. I give these to James in his lunches. They're like a hazelnut biscuit thing, really, really nice. And then back here we have some cookies that James loves and some scones James likes to have scone for his breakfast and that I think is everything that we bought in 
little and I'm trying to think what we spent we spent a little over 130 euro which is about average for us um for a week obviously a couple of things in there I wouldn't um normally buy like the Prosecco is not something that I buy every week um and even for James's wine so we um we used to buy wine for James week weekly but um my brother went to France in September and bought like basically cases and cases and cases and cases and cases of wine and we obviously he bought us some wine as well so we have not had to buy we bought enough wine to last us from September through the new year basically yeah our shed is full of wine and we have a wine fridge upstairs in my office that is full of wine so we're good in terms of wine hence why you don't see any but you will see James drinking um but yeah that's pretty much a standard shop for us I use a meal plan I know every day what we're having for breakfast lunch and dinner it's very simple I don't have to buy everything I need every week because some weeks there's doubles and such um yeah and some weeks I spend much less than 130 my shopping budget tends to be either about sort of 75 or more often than not like 119 is where it generally rests most weeks um yeah so I hope this is interesting I love being nosy and seeing what people buy in their grocery shop and what they're going to use it for, the types of things um, they like to eat. It inspires my meal plans and also introduces me to new foods that I might never have seen before or considered buying from the shelf because I wasn't too sure what they would be like. So yeah, I did buy some things when I was in pennies. And as this is a bit of a shopping haul video, when I go upstairs to unpack those, I will show them to you as well. It's the next day, and I've just realized I never shared with you what I bought in pennies yesterday to complete this little haul video. It is really stormy out. So let me grab that, share it with you, and then I'll get to edit this video. Okay. We're in my bedroom. Let me just move that out of the way. So, the first thing I'm gonna share with you is a handbag. You can probably hear it already. I did not especially need this handbag. In fact, I went in looking for a different kind of handbag and left with this handbag. But, I couldn't leave it there. It is so gorgeous. I actually went in looking for a kind of a gray or neutral colored handbag because most of my handbags are tan. Um, and I wanted something in this size but with a much longer handle but I just couldn't leave this there and there was nothing else um, in what I wanted. This is just, what I love about this bag is not only the look but ooh, it's just got one massive pocket, nothing else. There's no like side pockets or anything like that. I love that but it stands on its own. I think it's a perfect day or evening bag. It's a great size and I love all the chain detail. So nice. And best thing, it was only 14 euro. Like seriously, 14 euro for a handbag. I personally think it looks much more expensive and very designery, definitely. Anyway, the next thing I bought were tights. <laughs> yeah, I need these for Christmas Day to go with my outfit. Then I bought some of these LED candles, which I need for some of the Christmas decor. And I bought a load of these because <laughs> I'm in love with them. And I need these for some Christmas decor. I think I got four of those. I did. The last thing I got were these beautiful black leather at I'm sure they're yeah for 12 for 12 euro they're not going to be real leather but uh, oh my god they are oh my god and their touch screen do you see that 
I did not know this when I was buying them. They are just super soft. And I have a very a pair very similar in like a purple color, which I love. But I always wanted black because I think black is so classic and goes with so much, but I've never been able to find them. And again, pennies for 12 euro. I cannot get over that. Real 100% leather. That is the bargain of the year. Oh my God. And it's so soft, like super soft and a good fit. I would say I bought a medium. I tried them on in the shop. I would say I have a large hand, but they had no large left. So I chanced the medium to see if it would fit and it did. Oh, I'm so thrilled with these. I love gloves. I have like my hats, which I'm sure you've seen throughout Vlogmas. I have a lot of gloves as well, both leather, leatherette, um, wool and kind of fabric. I just, yeah, I love wintry, wintry things. Oh my God, I'm thrilled with these. So yeah, that's my mini haul. The rest of the bag is just full of those little Christmas lights I already showed you. So yeah, that completes today's Vlogmas haul video of groceries and teapots and everything else in between. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite item in the hauls were. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And do not forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any uh, future videos. James actually has some cool ones planned for, they're not technically gonna be part of Vlogmas because it's gonna be slightly after Vlogmas, but he was just telling me about them this morning and I was like, wow, I was impressed. So, goodbye for now.